Welcome back to Quantum Code, I'm Martin. This is the 11th tutorial dedicated to create an original 2D shooter game in Godot Engine. In this tutorial, I will teach you how to add sound to your game. We will create an audio manager, so we will be able to play music and sound effects from it. It will be easy and flexible, so you can adapt it for your games. Let's dive straight into it. Back in Godot, you first want to check that you have Assets version 5. Uh, if not, check the link in the description. Then let's start by creating a new scene. I'll call it Audio Manager. Let's save it. Under Scenes, I'll create a new folder. And hit Save. Now let's go in Project, Project Settings, and under Auto Load. We want to add the path to our scene. Call it Audio Manager and hit Add. Next, let's add a child node. It will be an audio stream player. And we'll call this one Music Player. As it will have to play the background music of the game. We also want to play different sound effects. So let's add a child node. Let's call it effect player. And we can add a, an audio stream player to it. We call it effect player one. And as we might have to play different sound effects uh, at the same time, we can duplicate this node. Let's have 10 of them. So that means we can play 10 sounds or 10 different sound effects um, in parallel. Let's go back to the music player and we want to add uh, our music to it. As we can see, my music asset is music.ogg so this is important you want to have it in ogg because it will play um, for a long time and it will loop and start again um, and the effects which are shorter and play only once uh, you want to have them uh, in that wav so we can drag and drop it to our audio to our music player node and we can hit autoplay so it will play when the game starts and it will loop as you can see on import settings it is looping so it will play at any time now let's add a script to the audio manager we will have two functions the first is optional but it can be useful if you want to change the music in the game for example between the menu or when you um, have a boss fight or something like that if you want to change the music you can use this function and we will have another one to play um, an audio effect we will pass a clip as parameter Let's start with the play music function. It is the easiest one. So we'll just take our music player node and we will change the stream. It will be equal to music. And then we will play it. So music player dot play. For the effect, we will first create a variable Let's call it n, and it will be equal to the node effect player. And we will get the child count. So, for example, if we have uh, five effect players nodes, we don't have those ones, then this will be equal to five. Uh, in this case, it will be equal to 10. Then we will loop. So, for i in range m we will create a variable child 
and it will be equal to our node effect player and we will get child and pass i as parameter so for example if i equals 4 uh, this will this variable will be equal to 1 2 3 4 effect player 4 so this is a way to um, loop over each children of our effect player node. Then we check if um, the current node is not playing. So if not child that is playing, then we can do the same as we did here. We can do child that stream equal clip and child that play and we will return as we don't want each child to play this sound effect we only need one so if if all the children are currently playing a sound effect that means we have 10 sound effects playing at the same time this is quite a lot we will not play the current clip but if we have one of the effects um, player node which is not playing that means it just for example play the sound and stopped then we will use it to play our new clip for example if the player is shooting or something like that we can save this and i've made a fireball sound so when the player shoots we can play this sound so in order to do this, it is extremely simple. We just need to go in our player script and under the input event, when input is event mouse button, that means we want to shoot. We check if everything is okay. And if it is, we will update the ammo. So that means we are shooting and we can just add audio manager that play effect. And we will pass as parameter a shoot sound, which we need to create. So you can just add a variable here. And you can just load and pass the like drag and drop the fireball that WAV as parameter. I just missed this. It's not is playing, but just that playing so now we can test the game so hit play you can hear the music in the background and if i hit play i can move and if i shoot you can hear the bullet sound now the um, sound effects are a little bit too low or the music is too high so we can just adjust the volume right here i'll set it to minus eight and test it again so as you can see the music is playing at a lower view volume and if i hit play we can hear the shooting sound effect better so this will be all for this video uh, we didn't add a lot of sound effects uh, this game will definitely need uh, sounds when you destroy enemy, when you walk, or stuff like that. Uh, but that was um, in order to create an example. And from here, it is really simple to create new effects and add it to the game. So feel free to do it. And you can send me your games on Discord, for example. Don't forget to subscribe as it helps a lot. And see you soon. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, uh, check out our other videos and don't forget to subscribe and activate the bell so you get notified when the next video is out. Also, you can leave us any feedback or any question in the comment section, we will answer quickly. See you!